Aloha, this is Jonathan coming at you with a, well, it's not new because I got it secondhand off eBay, but it's new to me, deck. I haven't even opened the package yet, so let's get started. It's exciting for me because I, um, God, I guess 20 years ago now, I took a class on Mayan hieroglyphics. And uh, I discovered this deck while well, poking around on the internet, and it's the Shultan Tarot, the Mayan Tarot deck. So this is not a typical tarot in any way, shape, or form. I understand that. So Arcana Publishing. I I wanted to get it though because let's see, let's have a date. I'm not sure. This, I think this is the second edition. It's the international edition, so... I don't see a, a date, maybe, on here. Shelton Tarot Codex. Uh, 1976. And when this was printed, oh my, that's not the typical little white book now, is it? Okay, four suits of lower arcanum, four court cards of the lower arcanum, cards of the higher arcanum. book, The Flight of the Feathered Serpent. <clears throat> I'll have to look into getting the book that goes with this. So far, so good. These are not in any order, so that's okay. up. Maybe I should put these in order and then come back. I think I'll do that. Okay, I'm back. Cards have been sorted. They're all there. Um, so here we have the title cards together. Sultan Tarot. Now I've heard a lot of people complain about this deck that the majors don't have numbering on them, but they actually do. Well, first of all, the, they line up together. I don't know if you can see that. But they have Mayan hieroglyphic numbers, so that's what it is. It's not that there is no numbers. There are numbers. So it's actually interesting, because I kind of want to lay this out now. So, Fool, Magician, High Priestess, Empress, an Emperor, I don't, know if you, I don't think I can keep going, but it, as you can see it does, it continues to connect, and then here's the Hierophant, so the first six, Fool, Magician, High Priestess, Empress, Emperor, Hierophant, or the High Priest, and as you can see there, they do connect into one image. At some point I'll have to put it together and see what the full image looks like. But let's just continue looking at the cards themselves. So here, 
we have the lovers. Uh, the line is a five and the dot is a one, so that's six. The lovers. Here we have the chariot. Let's see? Looks like the chariot's being drawn by dogs or the leopards. <laughs> Again, here, dash and two dots, it's seven. Strength. I love that it's a cactus. The hermit. Looks like a magician, doesn't he? I'll have to look and see if I can find the book that goes with these. I have a feeling it's pretty pricey. Wheel of Fortune. Pretty sure these symbols are just random symbols because I actually took a Mayan hieroglyphics class and some of these don't really, I mean, they wouldn't be lined up that way kind of thing. And some of the cards, that it just looks like gibberish. So. Justice. The Hanged Man. Death. Temperance. The devil. Interesting devil card facing away from each other. Yeah, see, five lines is 15. So. And you know, I don't see why people are having issues with the majors. They're pretty obvious what they are. Tower, anybody? <laughs> I want to line these up. Star. Moon. Star, Moon, Sun, Judgment, and the World. Pretty impressive stuff. I love this deck already. I wasn't sure. Just because of so many people have been bad mouth not bad mouthing it, but saying that they didn't like it. Cardstock is a little thin, I will say that, but as far as old school cardstock, it's not bad. Better than some of the new stuff I've gotten. So here we have Ace of Batons, or Stabs, or Wands. I wonder do these, I wonder if these line up too. Uh, maybe. And there's the two of wands, holding the globe in his hand, three, I love decks where the cards actually line up with each other, see that, it does not really, even though it kind of lines up, just it, the symbols don't really line up here, so, but yeah. Ace, two, three, four. Five of Wands. Got the typical battle going on. Six of Staffs. Seven. Eight. 
eight. Nine, ten. Oh, talk about being burdened. <laughs> Here we have servant in place of page. Warrior in place of knight. Lady instead of queen. And the lord instead of king. I love that they also color coordinate the background, so the cups are all blue. The staves are all this kind of pinkish beige kind of color. Salmon, I guess it's Sam is the color. <laughs> Here's the Ace of Cups, One of Cups. Here's the Two of Cups. Three of Cups. Four of Cups, Five of Cups, I love how they have the three spilled and two sitting upright in the bottom here. And they also have our Western symbology in the corner, or the bottom parts of the card. Six of Cups, Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups, I love how he's leaving footprints behind as he wanders through the night. Oh, the moon's giving him side eye. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Here we have the Nine of Cups. Ten of Cups. Servant of Cups. And I'll put out these four courts. Servant, warrior, lady, and lord. The court of cups. And they have the western symbology in the corner. Oh, that's interesting. I'll have one for him. Now we have swords, ace of swords, and these are the Mayan swords that kind of like question mark almost. There's the two of swords, she's blindfolded. Decisions, decisions. Three of Swords, and that's supposed to be a heart. <laughs> Four of Swords. You see, these are just kind of mishmash. <laughs> Excuse me. Sneezing on the truth. Five of Swords, 
Oh, he's crying. <laughs> Six of Swords. Seven of Swords. Eight of Swords. Tied up and blindfolded. Nine of Swords. Yeah. I told that boy to keep that TV down. Oh well. Ten of Swords. Servant of Swords, Warrior of Swords, again this warrior doesn't have an astrological symbol, interesting, here we have the Lady of Swords, and the King of Swords, or the Lord. Here we have one of jades. They have jades instead of coins or pentacles. So it's ace of jades, one jade. Two. They have like little dots to try and symbolize that, in, that infinity symbol. Three of jades. Four of Jades. You can definitely see where they got the Rider Waite symbolism in the card, but these are definitely different. Five. Oh, that Jaguar is gonna sneak up on him. Watch out, dude! And here is six. Obviously, giving away riches to the lesser people, sharing her abundance. Here we have seven of jades. Eight of jades. Nine jades. Still has the lady with the bird. I guess it's supposed to be in her garden. <laughs> See, some, believe, some of these are actual symbols, but then every so often it just looks like they kind of made stuff up. Here's the Ten of Jades. Yeah, let's line them up again. Servant. I guess the warriors don't have any symbology connected to them in this deck. It's the servant, the lady, and the lord. That's interesting. The lady is the Virgo. We got Taurus, Capricorn. Interesting, huh? So that is my Mayan tarot. When I found out about it, I just had to get it because I've studied Mesoamerican archaeology, anthropology, even took a class in Mayan hieroglyphics. So, the Shultan Tarot. Let me know what you think, and if you uh, might want to pick this up. Aloha, and hope you are having a restful time, and hopefully your place will open up soon, and we can all get back to business. I know things will never go permanently back the way they were, but hopefully close to it. So, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Aloha.